Hi, I'm Allison from HealthDuntNation.com and it's game day today at my house and I'm making my famous Italian pocket sandwiches. They are a little bit out of the diet box, but that's okay because it's cheat day anyway. And these are so worth it. They are fabulous, tasty, and your friends and family are gonna absolutely love them. Let's get started. So I start with some mild Italian pork sausage. Since my kids eat this, I use mild, but of course you can use spicier if you want. I like to mix it with some Italian chicken sausage just to cut down on the fat, but still have the flavor. Pizza sauce, you can use marinara sauce or even just tomato sauce, but I like the various spices and flavor of the pizza sauce. Couple bell peppers an onion, clover two of garlic, oregano, and garlic powder. And then you'll stuff it all in to a very fresh and delicious baguette. All right, so I'm gonna julienne, that means thinly slice, couple peppers. If you just have one pepper, that's all right. Sometimes I like to just turn it over and cut it across so we have a smaller julienne. Either way you do it, it's going to look pretty. It's going to all be cooked up with the sandwich, so really doesn't matter too much. All right, so we're going to take a small to medium onion and slice it kind of thinly, not too, too thin. Once it cooks, it shrinks a little bit, and you want to have nice sliced, nice pieces of onion in it. Ooh, this one's hot. I'm making my eyes run. There we go. That's perfect. All right, next we'll finely mince a clove of garlic. That's my famous way of peeling garlic quickly. Just whack it with a knife. Comes right off, pretty nice. Ooh, this is a big clove of garlic. That'll be great. I like lots of garlic. You know, you can overdo garlic, but I don't know, it's pretty hard. This doesn't have to be too terribly fine, just enough to so you don't get, you know, a big hunk of it. That's good. Add it in with your onions and peppers so that it's all ready to throw on the pan when you start cooking. All right, so right now I am just mixing the pork sausage and the chicken sausage together. And this is one place where you can make a healthier choice and that is by buying better sausage, higher quality sausage that's not got a bunch of fillers in it. All right, my pan is hot. I've got it over medium heat and I'm gonna add my sausage to it. Now, one thing that can be really good is to make little meatballs out of your sausage because this is kind of a, more of a, an Italian meatball sandwich. Okay, so you can see that this is pretty much cooked through. There's still some pieces in there that need some more cooking for sure. But I'm gonna add my vegetable mixture now, so that's my garlic and my onions and my bell peppers. Well, I originally started thinking about this recipe because I got the idea from our local farmer's market. Um, there's a guy there who sells sandwiches that are similar to this and they're just so good and my entire family loved them and my son said oh mom will you make these at home so i started working on the recipe and uh, now these are one of my son's favorite things to have he looks forward to game day so that i will make these and, um, and especially since he gets white bread in the form of baguettes because i don't usually eat, you know keep white bread around my house here we go the peppers and the onion are starting to soften up a bit Looking good. I'm gonna add my uh, garlic powder. And I'm gonna add just a sprinkle. I sprinkle it on. I don't really measure it. Kinda go by flavor on this. And this is not garlic salt because this sausage is already so salty. I really don't wanna add any more. I don't need to add any more. And then I add about a half teaspoon, teaspoon to a teaspoon of oregano. And when I do that, whenever you use dried 
um, herbs like this and spices, you want to crumble them up to help that flavor come back alive. So I just put that, sprinkle it all around. There's already some oregano in here, but I'm going to add more. All right, so we've got our onions getting to be the opaque, which means they're a little bit see-through. And so I'm going to add my pizza sauce now. Now, I don't really measure the pizza sauce. I just pour it in a little bit, a couple tablespoons at a time, mix it up, and see if it's the consistency I want, which is not soupy. It's, you know, this is going to go in a sandwich. I don't want it to be all soupy and, and icky so that it makes a sandwich bread become mushy and nobody likes a mushy sandwich but I do want it to flavor it right so I've added about two tablespoons there that'll be plenty mix it all up all right there you have it here's the filling for our Italian pocket sandwich looks so good and it smells even better let's get the bread ready all right, so I've got my baguette here. The fresher, the better. And I'm gonna cut off the ends because I want my sandwich to be able to stand up. Now, I am gonna cut this into, oh, let's see, let's do three. Three equal sizes. All right, so now I'm gonna make the pocket portion of my sandwich. So I take my baguette and I take a clean end of a wooden spoon and I just start making a hole in the center. Now you can rip some of the bread out. Uh, I like to just leave mine in because everybody likes the yummy inside of baguettes, right? That's the best part of them. But if my kids are around, I take them out and let them eat it because they just love it. So I just keep going around. I try not to pierce through the bottom because I, I try and leave at least an inch down there and that really keeps the sandwich so it's not going to fall apart and all start coming out the end. I've got three game day size baguettes here ready to go. Now the filling that I made will fill more than just one baguette. So you know if you're feeding very many people get two or three baguettes. And I like to fill mine with a small spoon just because it's obviously a little bit easier than trying to cram a big spoon in there. All right, so I stuffed this down really good because I want it to go all the way to the bottom. You know, you don't want to have half of it filled with meat and then the other half just be bread. So I really push it down there. Sometimes if I don't have a good hole going like I do in this one, I'll use the end of the uh, wooden spoon again, but it's working very nicely today, so. Oh, look at that. All right, we've got two going. This one needs a little bit more meat on top so that the guys don't think they're getting vegetarian and fall over dead or leave. Our Italian pocket sandwiches are all ready to go and be served to the starving fans today. Hope that your team wins big to your health.